schools all over the country are going to be preparing for the new curriculum. So what can you do to make sure that your school's ready for curriculum change? One of the key things is going to be thinking about how effectively can you evaluate and audit your own provision. You might like to work as a whole school team or perhaps as a literacy coordination team and think about working through some questions. Have you got enough space, for example, on your timetable for explicit teaching of spelling, punctuation and grammar? How are you going to embed that within your existing teaching? How can you make links for the learners between the spelling, grammar and punctuation they're going to need to know and the teaching of reading and writing and talk so the learning is connected for them? Have you got a structured teaching programme in place already? If so, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. You may well be able to take what you've already got and incorporate the new emphases within it. Another big one, I think, is the subject knowledge of grammar. We know that lots and lots of teachers are very anxious about the grammar in the new curriculum. It's not teachers' fault that they don't know the grammar. We've now got two generations of teachers who weren't taught grammar themselves. But it is important for schools to acknowledge this and think about how are they going to provide support as a team to help each other with grammar terms and understanding what they mean. Our own research has shown it's not just about identifying and labelling. Teachers struggle to explain things to children and they struggle particularly with the kinds of questions children ask them. So looking at your subject knowledge is going to be important. And what resources have you got? Are they engaging enough for 21st century children? Are they playful or are they dull, boring worksheets? Think what you can do to make the teaching for the new curriculum as creative as possible. And finally, think about how you can involve children's parents a lot more. How do you help them to know how they can support their children? How are you going to communicate to them the changing curriculum? Because children's parents can be our greatest allies as teachers. And remember, the content of the curriculum might be changing, but good teaching stays the same.